What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Home of the auto shop life, JRC54. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend or what's left of it or week if you're watching this. So I've been busy. Hope you guys been too. Um, lack of videos, but I want to get into one. Tools of November. I'm going to call them niftier tools. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. So first one, want to give a big shout out to Osha Tools again. They sent us another one for us to check out for the channel. This one is their quarter inch click type torque wrench. Uh, this thing's definitely pretty cool. I've had this for a couple weeks. Uh, used it on a couple ones on an HVAC box. I had to tighten up small little dash work here and there. But uh, you know, I, I'd call this one a specialty torque wrench. You know, definitely. You know, you guys know I got torque wrenches on the channel, but you know, for its size. It, you know, it definitely gets the job done. It, it's you got a small head in there. You know, you could clearly see, you know, all the settings on there. It's got the locking handle. You know, you pull down, you'll set it. It does lock. This thing, I want to say, they claim it to be accurate between three percent, something like that, give or take. But uh, you know, it's definitely got nice, some nice teeth in there. You could see. I, I, I need more time to use this thing, but you know, I definitely, for what it is, the couple times that I did use it. You know, it's definitely a solid little tool. You know, it definitely come in handy, especially for you guys doing the, you know, the smaller intricate work. Most of the stuff I, I torque down here, are, you know, big head bolts. I'm using half inch torque wrench, not necessarily a quarter inch. They do have the three eighths and half inch coming soon. You guys check their website. I will leave all the information and links down below. But uh, you know, definitely nice. You can definitely tell it's quality built. Um, you know, Olsen Tools logo on there. It does switch directions. Want to say the. Gear in here is a 64 tooth, you know, so I mean, you got that, you know, if you're in tight areas, you could definitely get that room you need to get that torque down correctly and right the first time. Um, I want to say it goes from 30 inch pounds to 150 inch pounds. It also has the Newton meters for you guys that use Newton meters. I tend to convert it to inch pounds just to make it easier, but definitely can't wait to use this a little more. Also tools. You know, you know, they've been coming through. They, I've not got one bad one from them yet. Most of their tools, you could definitely tell, are quality built. You know, um, you know, not too much to say about it. I mean, all the way down to the the capped end here, the locking handle. You know, you could clearly see. You know, I definitely dig it. You could clearly see it. We'll see if these holds up over time. You know, this laser etched or however it's in there, if that uh, does scratch off and it does hold up over time. But definitely a cool one for also tools. Um, I'll leave all the information down below. Like I said, quarter inch, uh, they call it the quarter inch drive click type torque wrench. Uh, 64 tooth, 30 to 150 inch pounds. It also comes with a nice little, obviously blow molded case, a carrying case for it. You know, obviously when you're done using these things, you wanna wind them all the way down, store them in a nice clean dry place in one toolbox. If you guys have this in the hand, it definitely is a nice, got a nice fit and finish to it. All right, and then getting into the next one, staying on the specialty tool type, uh, I picked up a timing kit, four timing kit to be exact. You know, guys, you guys know I work in an independent shop. We pretty much work on anything that drives into the parking lot. We'll take a crack at it, we'll work on it. You know, it's not like I'm working on, you know, GMs all day or Fords or BMWs or Mercedes or anything like that. We got a wide variety of cars we work on. There's really nothing we say no to. And so keeping up with the tools on these manufacturers that, you know, whether they change the fastener size or, you know, whether it's a Torx or, you know, different size, some of the crazy fasteners and sockets they're coming out with now, as opposed to the uh, 1.6 Duratec Ford motors that they got now. I was able to time a couple of them with some of the older Ford tools that I got. I got a universal cam tool. You know, we were able to pull it off, but, you know, do that once, do that twice, you know, maybe okay, but when they, they starting to come in a little bit more now between those water pumps failing on those motors, I think the C-Max uses them, the Ford Fiesta, the Focus is, um, I can't remember what else Ford's putting those 1.6s in, but uh, I got, I found a nice timing kit online for it. So I was able to uh, pick this thing up for maybe 28 bucks or something like that. I'll leave a link down in the description. I have yet to use it. But it was just one of those things where I had to order it. You know, we're able to pull it off with some of the older four tool timing tools that I have. But you know, for they keep changing the design of these motors. You know, even between the crank pins, um, you can see in the kit here. 
you know, they keep changing the sizes of them. So, you know, I, I don't know if you guys time the forward ones, but some are a little bit longer, some, some are shorter, some are narrow. So that does change, you know, your top dead center. But this kit's pretty nice. It comes with everything you need, you know, pretty much your cam gear locking tool, uh, you know, your camshaft bar, your crank locking pin, even a tensioner pin comes in the kit, your harmonic balancer, lineup tool. So when you're tightening the bolt, pretty nice kit. Uh, you know, I definitely thought it was pretty nice. You could tell, you know, the steel is made well, you know, and for what I use it for, it's not like I'm timing these things every day, day in, day out. Hey, if I get two, three a year, four a year even, it's definitely gonna, you know, beat paying over a hundred dollars for a, a Ford tool, especially for a 1.6 motor that God knows if they're gonna build it in the next couple years. So, you know, one of those things, obviously being an independent shop owner, gotta stay on top of the tools, you guys know, you know, I, I not only need tools, these tools make me the money I need to survive and pay the bills and all that stuff, but I wanna, when I get the jobs in, I wanna make sure I got the right tool for the right job, pass that information on to you guys. But I'll definitely leave this one in the description. You know, it comes in a cheap low moly case, obviously no part number on there, but get a part number, I'll have it down in the description for you guys. All right guys, getting into a couple uh, truck pickups for November. Um, definitely a niftier one, I'd call this one. Um, picked up the CTR, you guys know I picked up the CT9075, been using it here around the shop, you guys can see it in the background. Got the boot for it, all that stuff. Been putting it to work. It's been pretty decent. I got a couple cons on it um, about the trigger. You know, every so often you hit the trigger, it just don't want to start, you got to kind of let the trigger go hit it again but I picked up the CTR 762 this thing's the 3 8 version um, picked up the full kit with obviously the rubber boot the tool and one 2.5 lithium battery but I've been using this thing guys this thing's definitely a finger crusher this thing's definitely got the power um, you know I, I really can't complain with this one you know snap on definitely uh, outdid themselves on this one 70 foot pounds you know on a cordless ratchet 3 8 ratchet you, pretty much unheard of, but I mean, you could tell hitting that trigger, you could tell this thing's, you know, definitely, uh, it's hitting hard. This thing's definitely a heavy hitter. Um, it's breaking them loose, you know, not, not to say that, you know, over torquing things, obviously, you know, putting your hand down into something and hitting this thing, you know, it does have a safety stop feature on it, you know, a brake on it and all that stuff. Um, here's the box it comes in. It does claim on the box. It got uh, 70 foot pounds of torque output, built in brake, you know, which is supposed to be, you you know, you hit it and it'll stop, it'll stall out, or, you know, once you let the trigger go, it's supposed to stop and not crush your fingers. But I'll tell you guys, I've got my fingers pinched with this thing already. This thing's definitely got the power. You know, I gotta give it up to Snap-on. Don't, really don't know why they couldn't make the first one like this, but compared to the first one, it's, uh, you know, a lot slower getting those bolts or nuts and fasteners out, but it definitely has a lot more power. The Milwaukee one isn't as powerful as this one. You know, I, I, I did my own little comparison. You know, maybe we'll do one on the channel, but uh, you know, I want to use this thing up a little more. This has been my go-to cordless, three-eighths cordless ratchet for about a week and a half now, and we're gonna keep going on it until I find any problems with it. But for the most part, Snap-on outdid themselves on this one, guys. I, I gotta say for the 14.4 line, they keep coming out with stuff like this. The 14.4 will last, you know, as opposed to Milwaukee M12 lines, yes, I'm using Milwaukee tool, especially Kohler's tools, a lot more than the Snap-on ones, but you know, I'm bringing it back. You know, the 14-4 line, it holds a place in my heart. I do use them. I did spend a lot of money on them, obviously, you know, and, and I'm, I'm not sorry for it. It is what it is. You know, I, I like I like the Kohler's tools. I like what it is. When I started buying these Snap-on tools, you know, the 14-4, Milwaukee, you know, the brushless wasn't really out yet. So I already bought into the battery line. I already bought into the tools. The tool truck comes to my shop here. You know, it is what it is. I'm not sorry for it. I like using different types of tools for different jobs, certain things, you know, whether it's a dirtier job or clean job, you know, I, I like the versatility. I like having a selection of tools. Um, but uh, here's the part number, comes in. I bought the, uh, the kit, it comes with the tool, the lithium battery, you know, a little rubber condom boot for the top of it. But this thing, you guys, uh, you guys are on the truck, definitely grab this one up, check it out for yourself. Uh, nothing but good things to say about it. We'll see if this thing's last and uh, you know, if they keep coming out with more powerful ones like this. But 70 foot pounds, definitely, uh, definitely, definitely something to brag about. I definitely like it. You could definitely tell it's well built. You know, whatever gear ratio they have in here to get that 70 on the cordless tool with a tiny battery like that. You guys know how I feel about the snap-on batteries. It's definitely getting it done. So sticking with the tool truck, uh, another one I picked up from Cornwell this week. 
is the uh, auto, auto darkening welding mask, or you call it, or welding goggles. You know, this one's technically, when it's all together, it's a welding mask. You know, sometimes underneath those cars, when you're welding in those tight areas, again, with the tight areas, it's, it's tough. You know, I'm not one to wear, you know, a big bulky, you know, I got them, but I'm not one to wear a big bulky snap-on helmet. You know, I mean, the size comparison on them, you know, sometimes when you're sitting underneath a car or whether you're laying on the ground or whatever you got to do in a tight area, you know, this sometimes doesn't work out, you know. So instead of using the big mask all the time, you know, obviously there's other options. You know, I like to be comfortable when I'm welding and all that stuff. You could use this a couple different ways. It's got the, you know, the full face guard, the welding goggles. It's got the top, you know, full, full covered headgear and all that stuff. Um, a lot of likes about this, obviously getting in the tighter areas, you know, I'm one to, uh, you got to protect your eyes. You, you got to, you know, when you're, when you're welding, you want to protect your eyes, you want to protect your skin, protect as much as you can. And, you know, with something like this, you know, as opposed to wearing a huge helmet, obviously if I'm welding over a table or something like that, yeah, I'll, I'll put the helmet on with the auto and dark features. But this one does have all the features. You know, it's got auto darkening, sensitivity range. Um, it's got the nice delay on it. It does have grind mode on it. What I like about it is uh, it comes with a couple extra lenses, like in the front here. Uh, comes with a protective sticker. I actually put it on and didn't notice it at first, and it was all blurry, but it does have a protective sticker. Not sure who makes these for Cornwell. I want to say maybe Miller. I don't know. But uh, I do know that they have different types of, uh, you know, mouth guards and face guards. You know, you got one uh, like a monkey or a guy smoking a cigarette or a skull or whatever like that, so you can switch these out. Um, it does pop on there. You can see the clips. You just line up the clips here and it pops right on. It kind of snaps on in the middle. So that's what the full mask looks like. You can see the inside with the auto darkening feature. It's got a nice little strap. Just pop it on. Instead of having, you know, a huge helmet on, you have this. Also comes in the kit is your full headgear, protects your neck. You know, your ears, the sides, pretty much you're getting more protection out of this that doesn't take up as much room as opposed to, you know, one of these where, you know, kind of the back of your head still susceptible to catch an amber or, you know, something hot going down your shirt or whatever it is. So, you know, definitely uh, if you're using this, you still want to put, you know, a, you know, the neck protector on and all that stuff. But uh, I definitely like it. I, I like the versatility. You know, the auto and darkening feature is nice. You can see on this side. You could change the battery out. I think it just takes a, like a regular fob battery, 20 uh, CR2450s. So we'll see how long the battery lasts on it. But I definitely saw it. I saw. I actually saw this on the Snap-on truck uh, probably a couple months ago. And then he never had it on there again. I guess I didn't buy it on time. But this was on a Cornwall truck. Had to pick this one up. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes, like I said, in the tight areas, it beats, uh, it beats banging your head off stuff and not being able to see or, you know, not being able to get your mask down in time before you weld and messing up your eyes. Part number on the Cornwell Auto Darkening Welding Goggles, FFG32007, in case you guys are interested. I want to say Miller probably rebrands these for Cornwell and Snap-on probably I'd have to say, but uh, you know, it's got the true color lens, um, you know, good for MIG, TIG, MMA, grinding, plasma, and oxygen cutting. So I'll also mention on this, it's got the, uh, you know, kind of like a protective top, so you don't, you're not bumping your head on the rack arms and things like that. The soft silicone goggles for, you know, comfort. I will say that the, uh, you know, if you guys wear glasses or anything like this, it's going to be kind of hard as opposed to, a, you know, a full face mask uh, wearing glasses. You might have to take your glasses off or figure something out as far as the glasses goes. All right, guys, so last two from Milwaukee. Actually, just got today before the video. Actually, before I came here, I stopped at Home Depot, walking through, get some paint, because I wanted to paint new parking lines outside in the parking lot, and uh, seen this uh, six-in-one, eight-gauge, 20-gauge, wire stripper, reamer, you know, bolt cutters, all that stuff, some kind of, you know, wire looper, all that stuff in there. You guys can see 48, 22, 30, 79 Y is the part number, but I pulled these things out of the package, and man, I gotta say, this, these things are definitely solid. Um, you know, being able to strip back all the wires from 20 gauge to 8 gauge, you know, definitely pretty nice. And it definitely, uh, you know, if you guys have these or seen these before, you know, you could definitely tell these things do look super sharp. They definitely look like they're made well. Nice handles, you guys know. I like the Milwaukee grips. You know, they, they say it doesn't peel and fall off like some of those other ones do. But, uh, you know, it's definitely got a lot of stuff that I can use on there. And, uh, you know, 
the six in one, you know, more tools, you know, pick up one tool and be able to get multiple jobs done with, you know, one set. Obviously you guys know I got wire strippers and all that stuff. Check them out. And then keeping with it, obviously, you know, doing the parking lot lines, I got a couple leafs out there I wanted to take care of. So I went to go get the brushless leaf blower. They did not have it. So ended up settling for part number 0884 you know blower I guess they call it the breed you know so I walked through there say hello to my little friend um, you know but I it, it got the job done you know it doesn't really uh, it's not impressive or anything like that it, it moves some dirt you know it moves the loose leaves it's not like this thing's pushing a whole bunch of air uh, I think they said 150 rpm or something like that on the box I'm not really a hundred percent I already threw the box out but you know for what it is it's definitely compact comes in a couple pieces you can see this is like the hard plastic and then they got like a rubber tip on there that also comes off so run on the m18 line i figure hey had some leaves i had to take care of maybe for the winter time knocking the loose snow off some of the cars you know we'll see if we'll put this to use as opposed to blowing some leaves that really took a long time to blow i noticed it ate through a four amp hour battery and it wasn't even 10 minutes of just straight use so you know this thing's definitely using up the battery you know being not brushless but it's it gets its job done i think i picked it up for 89 bucks or something like that i'm not sure if they're going to have these on sale on black friday but can't wait to see what uh what i pick up then all right guys so wrapping this one out just giving you guys a couple alternatives as opposed to you know the full face welding mass you know the tool truck pickups that ctr 762 like i said i got nothing but good things to say about it so far so good you know I was actually not even gonna buy that one I'm glad I picked it up to check it out you know but that's what YouTube's about obviously get other people's opinion not to say I got talked into it by other people but I wanted to check it out you know I went up on the truck I put that thing in my hand you know I know the snap-on you know the the other snap-on cordless 3h ratchet obviously was lacking you know and then they came out with the long neck and it still was lacking but it did have the reach this one if they can make something like this in a long neck maybe that'd be the next one i'd definitely be picking that one up too i'm keeping this 14.4 alive fellas i i don't really care yes i'm using milwaukee yes i love the milwaukee but this 14.4 line i'm gonna use it until i can't use it anymore a couple little options as far as the uh you know instead of using the full face welding helmet the welding mask that's a good alternative you guys are out there you guys are welding a lot you know out down underneath these cars bumping your head all around all that stuff you know definitely check that one out like i said i think snap on offers it you could probably find i'll try to leave links down in the description where else you could get those things for i picked this one up at cornwell pretty decent price i want to say they're close to about 200 bucks but uh big shout out to also tools i definitely leave all the info down below you guys are looking at you know, also use the links below uh, check them out they got a lot of cool stuff the uh, quarter inch torque wrench definitely getting it done i definitely like it they're coming out with the three eighths and half inch soon you guys check them out on instagram if you haven't already as opposed to the channel, got a couple things planned. Uh, be doing the reveal on the BMW soon. Be wrapping that one up. Be picking up that Corvette. Um, probably getting back into the tools in use. You guys uh, not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified when I come out with new videos. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.